All right, so a little bit of a different video than I normally do. One of the things about me is that I, I love to watch television shows and movies. A lot of times I'll watch the same movies over and over again. And there are certain TV shows I love watching all the time. Two of my all-time favorite TV shows are Friends and The Big Bang Theory. And I love watching these shows. These, these are two of my all-time favorite TV shows. But there comes a point in both shows that I really dread watching. Uh, with Friends, it's in, I think it's season two, Ross and Rachel are together. No, I'm sorry, season three. Ross and Rachel are together, and it's leading up to the point where, where Ross cheats on Rachel and they break up. Like, I really dread getting to those episodes because I just, I know what's about to happen. And, and I hate it. And I hate the immediate after fact, the immediate aftermath of that episode where, where they do break up, where, you know, where, where they're on a break. And, uh, it's, it's, it's almost like, gosh, I really dread that part. And then with the Big Bang Theory, it's the same, very similar. Uh, I, I don't remember what season it is. I think it's maybe season eight or season nine. It could even be season 10. But it's where Sheldon and Amy break up. Like, when you see it coming, I, I like, oh my gosh, I hate it. I hate what's about to happen. And of course, the immediate aftermath also, I hate what is happening. Now, in both those shows, man, it's some great news. They they eventually get back together. Sheldon and Amy, Shamey, they, they end up getting married. Uh, Ross and Rachel, at the very end, uh, Rachel, of course, gets off the plane. And, and her and Ross, they end the show that way. And, and I say these things because reading the Bible, it gives me that same type of feeling sometimes. And so one of the things I, I, I do is that I do two different Bible studies every single day. Uh, one Bible study is a book of the Bible. I go through a book of the Bible, chapter by chapter, verse by verse. And the other Bible study I do is a topical Bible study. And of course, with this week being uh, the week of Easter coming up on Sunday, this is Holy Week. Uh, I've been doing my my topical Bible study is just on that. It's on the events leading up to the cross. And uh, this morning I read uh, Mark chapter fourteen verses one through uh, verse one through eleven. And as I'm reading it, my heart it's like that same feeling I get when I watch Friends and uh, the Big Bang Theory. These these big moments they're just gut wrenching. Mark chapter 14, verse 1, it starts off this way. It was two days before Passover and the festival of unleavened bread. <sighs> Knowing just that right there, so what you're about to read, and of course, uh, it, it goes on, Mark chapter 14, about the, the very sinful woman who busts open the jar of perfume, pours on Jesus' head, and Jesus his disciples are ridiculing the woman. Like, woman, well, you could have sold that and made a whole bunch of money. Why are you doing this? And Jesus is like, look, yes, you could have given the money to the poor, but you're always going to have the poor. I'm not always going to be here. Jesus is telling his disciples, I'm not always going to be here because he knows the moment is coming. And at the end of this section here, uh, in uh, chapter 14, verse 10, Judas says, uh, then Judas Aristocrat, one of the twelve, went to the chief priests to betray Jesus. And when they heard this, they were glad and promised to give him money. So he stood. So he started looking for an opportunity to betray him, him being Jesus. A few months ago, my Bible study was on the book of Matthew. And as I was getting close to the betrayal, the phony trial, the crucifixion, there was all this dread. Because I know what's about to happen. And, and where I'm at in my faith, man, I, I love Jesus with all my heart. And, and I hate that. And I hate reading, knowing what's about to happen. But I'm also very joyful in the fact because Jesus didn't stay dead. You know, it's funny. When, when someone dies, we refer to them as the late so and so. Uh, my grandfather's passed away. It was like the late Eugene Alby, the late Sam Maddox. We don't say that about Jesus. It's not the late Jesus. Do you know why we don't say that? Because Jesus didn't stay dead. Jesus came back to life. Jesus is alive. Three days after he was crucified, Jesus rose again. Now, here we are. It's Wednesday. And Sunday's coming. And Friday, man. 
Friday, Friday's a tough day because I know what's happening. I, and I'm going with my Bible so I know what's about to happen. And it's a gut punch. A man who did not deserve to die, died. He died for me. He died for you. And that, that's big. Because Jesus, Jesus didn't come to earth to be served. He came to serve. Jesus came to do what we could not do, to pay the price of our sins. When he went to the cross, he took my sins, my sins, to the cross with him. That's powerful. So yes, while I read this, I dread knowing what's coming up. But after Jesus dies, I cannot wait to continue reading and because I know what's about to happen. Jesus is going to come back. I, I love the stories. Tom's like, I don't believe you until I can see Jesus and I can put my finger through his hand. And Jesus is like, okay, Thomas, here I am. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. I, I, I love that part. I love the part where Jesus is like, Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord, I need to feed my sheep. And, and Jesus restores Peter. Yes, I dread the part of Friday, but I'm so joyful for what happens on Sunday. That Jesus loves me. That Jesus died for me. And it's not just me. He didn't just die for Andy Albee. Man, he died for everybody. For, for all of you guys. For, for the dozens of people that may watch this, or maybe a hundred people might watch, I don't know. I don't do these videos for, for likes and comments. I, I do these people or do these videos for people to share the gospel because if you haven't heard this before, I look for never ending ways to share a never changing message. And right now, man, videos is it's a deal and I love it. So something to think about here on Wednesday because Friday's coming. That's the day that Jesus died. But it's not a dreadful moment because Sunday's coming. That is a joyful moment.